An affiliation of karaoke bars and pubs says that half of its 200 members are choosing to remain closed. That's in the hope the business can return to normal. It says that the other half are prepared to pivot to food and beverage operations temporarily. But as Liang Lei reports, they're urging the authorities to relax some rules. Coffee and toast in the karaoke hall. It's a curious juxtaposition that's been keeping this business afloat. But thanks to a mega COVID-19 cluster associated with KTVs, it has to close until it makes more changes. As part of new measures, public entertainment equipment must be hidden and private rooms locked or removed. The outlet had already complied with others, like putting up CCTVs and installing clear windows when it pivoted to FMB last year. Its management hopes business can resume in the next fortnight. The future of two other premises is less certain. So either we follow their law, say that we lock the room, put CCTV, or we really will the to let our business operate. So this so three other KTV joints which pivoted to FNB also tell me they're choosing to remain shut during this period. Some say they see no point in forking up money for renovations. For others, their one-year FNB license is set to end soon and they don't have a clear picture of what's going to come next. Some businesses they are choosing to pivot also have concerns. The Singapore Entertainment Affiliation, whose members employ more than 5,000 workers, is petitioning the authorities on their behalf. Uh, maybe we can have some uh, pool games or darts game, or maybe some... Uh, we, need, we need the music. We say we just operate very quietly. I think no customer will patronise our, our outlet because we already wrote to the uh, MTI, MHA. We actually... Uh, Looking forward for a dialogue, dialogue with them. Hope they can reply to us by this uh, this week. In a written reply to a parliamentary question, Home Affairs and Law Minister K. Shamugam said authorities are looking into a request by family-friendly karaoke operators to be regulated separately from other nightlife joints. Key to the assessment, the risks associated with singing, regardless of whether the operators are family-oriented or not.